Hey guys, Matt Croissant at McCarthy Chevy Buick GMC in Marshall, Missouri, getting you some information on this 2015 Jeep Cherokee. Now this is a very low mileage vehicle, has only 24,000 miles on it, and again, yes, this is a 2015 model coming in this beautiful red pearl coat. You get a nice alloy wheel set with the vehicle, a rail system up above for extra cargo. You get privacy glass on all of your rear windows. Vehicle comes with a backup camera, heated back glass with a rear wiper and rear sprayer. This is a Latitude Edition to be more specific for you. Very nice looking vehicle. One of the better crossovers in the market right now. It's got a nice sharp look. The front end I really enjoy. You got those LED daytime running lights up front. Headlights and fog lights are also included on this model. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside. So, starting at the door here, you do have power locks, windows, and mirrors for the vehicle. You've got a nice lighter interior, and this color just goes really well with the red, I gotta say. Um, you're gonna have a six-way adjustable driver's seat right here. Automatic headlights will be located here for you. Then hopping on in here, Go ahead and scoot the seat back just a tad. All right, so uh, steering wheel is gonna be leather wrapped for you. Feels real nice. It does uh, tilt and telescope for you. If you just unlock it right down there, you can move this up, down, in or out, wherever you need it to be. You can lock that back into place. Uh, mounted on the steering wheel, you're gonna have a directional pad over here, which will control your drive display. You can see uh, lots of good vehicle information right here, trip information, audio, other messages. You've got settings that you can adjust as well. Um, and then just below that, you're gonna have some Bluetooth and voice recognition controls for the vehicle. To the right, you've got your cruise control options. And then from there, left-hand wand will control your blinkers and brights. Right-hand wand will control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers, too. Up above here, you're going to have a nice sunglass holder, some interior lighting, and then an auto-dimming rear-view mirror right here for you. You've got a little bit of storage up above right here for some smaller items, as you can see. Then down below, you've got a nice little entertainment center. This is a touch screen. Um, and then you have some analog buttons right here as well. Let me just close these vents real quick. Hopefully we're not getting any wind noise going on here. So um, just below that, you're gonna have your hazard lights. And then you've got climate controls and a couple of driving controls right here, as well as some audio options. You can turn that screen off if need be. You've got traction control. This Cherokee is also equipped with the auto off feature with, uh, you know, which, you know, 50% of people enjoy the other 50% uh, just don't like it at all. So you do have the ability to turn that on or off. And what that does for you is it turns the vehicle off completely when you come to a full stop, which will reduce fuel consumption as well as pollution. Uh, right down here, you've got a single climate control system. You can see you've got some controls on board right here as well on the touch screen. And then down below here, you're gonna have power options. You've got a USB and auxiliary port as well as a 12 volt outlet, an SD card slot that you can use for expandable memory options. And then as with all Jeeps, you're gonna have some different terrain selections. You can keep this on auto for the best traction or you can set it for snow, sport, or sand and mud as well, just depending on the terrain that you're on. So one thing that I really like about Jeeps for sure. Uh, shifter's gonna be right here. You've got park, reverse, neutral drive and then a manual shifting mode bring it down slap it to the left uh, this will give you some extra control over the vehicle um, in snowy and icy conditions or if you just want to get a little bit more sporty with it you've got the option vehicle is also equipped with an electric parking brake so you can just pull up on this you see the red light come on and then just uh, put your foot on the brake press down to disengage that uh, you've got a couple cup holders right here and a tiny bit of extra storage for maybe some coins, maybe uh, bobby pins, you know, whatever floats your boat here. You've got a dual level center console here. Here is the upper tray, small, and you've got a removable rubber mat there. Down below here, you're going to have a deeper well with uh, some coin holders, another 12 volt outlet, as well as a second USB port for the vehicle. Glove box is lockable. You can see that's really deep. Holy cow. Let me just 
put my whole arm in there. That's nuts. All right, so that goes way back there for you. You've got plenty of storage in the glove box there. Got your owner's manuals inside as well. Uh, that's going to be it for the front seating area. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, back seats as well as the hatch. All right, back here you can see you've got some storage and bottle holders in the doors. You've got storage on the seat backs. Rear ventilation for your rear passengers is always nice. And then for an extra power option, you've got a uh, nice little power inverter right here that you can plug anything into that's really great. If you've got a portable DVD player or a laptop, you know, for those longer extended trips, or maybe you just need some extra juice. Uh, rear passengers do get their own armrest with a couple of bottle holders right here. You do have your latch system for child seats and restraints back here. You can seat three people comfortably. Uh, the rear seats, they do fold down for you and they also recline a little bit right there as you can see. Uh, but this folds all the way down for you. We'll go ahead and leave this one down so you can just kind of take a look at the uh, cargo capability here. Say you need some extra space but you have another person to seat back here. So you've got some versatility. Let's go ahead and check out the hatch. Backup camera is going to be right here for you, by the way. And then your lift gate button will be right there. You've got a couple of LED lights there. And then in here, you can see you've got some awesome storage options back here. You've got this nice little crossbar right here uh, to keep some other items secured that may be a little bit taller. You've got a couple cubbies here, another one over here as well. A little bit of lighting back here. Uh, you have uh, these hooks that you can hang things off of too. Uh, you also have a 12 volt outlet back here if you like doing some tailgating. And then of course, you've got some extra storage underneath here as well. So you can see you've got these extra compartments and then underneath this felt tray, you're gonna have your spare tire too. So um, you've got information on all of that that you can access online if you're curious about how all of that works and comes together. So um, any more information that you'd like on this particular Cherokee, why don't you guys head on over to McCarthy Chevy Buick GMC.com. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any questions or compliments about this particular Cherokee. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational needs. Thank you so much and we hope you're having a wonderful day.